My name's Tom Gallivan. I own Shooting Point Oyster Company with my wife, Ann. I mean, we grow clams and oysters on the seaside and bay side of the Eastern Shore. Our main operations are based out of a little hamlet called Bayford, which is on the Nassawatics Creek. We've been out here growing stuff 25 years. I grew up working on the water. My dad was a commercial fisherman in Cape Cod when I was a little guy. I have a degree in aquaculture from University of Maine, then went down to Rutgers University and hooked up with a fellow University of Maine alumni guy, Stan Allen, who was doing selective breeding and genetic work, then came down to VIMS to do more of that work and uh, met my wife, Ann, decided that someone who wasn't an academic had no business being in academia after a while. So uh, came back to my commercial roots. I mean, you can see that bill on a lot of these. We have four different varieties of oysters that we produce ourselves. Three of them are grown at different locations. The thing that's amazing about the Eastern Shore in particular is you have this little sliver of, of land that has a United Nations Biosphere Reserve on the ocean side and, and truly is one of the last coastal wildernesses on the East Coast. And then you have these creeks with very little upland water input. And the closer you get to the mouth of the bay, the saltier the oysters get. The oysters on our bay side, because you're in this huge estuary, being the Chesapeake Bay, are typically very healthy and, and plump. They have a lot of glycogen in them, which, which provides a sweetness. So like our Church Creek corks that we grow in front of Chatham Vineyards, are even a little sweeter and and uh, maybe a tiny bit less salty. And then once you move those oysters from here, which is what we do, we, we nursery the oysters here and get them up to a certain size and then we sort of finish them on the ocean side uh, for a few months. Those oysters really take on a, a, a really pure salt flavor. The finish on our oysters almost is a little bit sweet and it's very abrupt. My name is Heather Lusk and I am fourth generation at HM Terry Company in Willis Wharf, Virginia. We are a family owned and operated shellfish aquaculture company. We grow clams and oysters. The company was started in 1903 by my great grandfather. Our brand is the Sawansicot brand and it has been that since 1903 or whenever my grandfather started um, selling those oysters. They're a classic seaside oyster, sort of that big pop of brine and then sweet in the finish. Hog Island Bay is a really unique place because it's one of the only areas that's unaffected by any inland rivers. It's just really one of the most um, pristine bodies of water that you can find around. Um, and so we're very fortunate to kind of call that place home for our oysters and our clams. Almost all of the clams that are produced in Virginia are born right here in Willis Wharf. We're home to three of the Virginia's major clam companies and at least four clam hatcheries that are all along the waterfront here in Willis Wharf. Oysters are all about um, sense of place. They taste, they're, they're one of the only things I think that are representative of the exact place where they're grown at the exact time that you harvest them. It's a certain group of people that do this job. And I think that the reason why we also all have, have hit it off and have long-standing friendships with chefs and people, uh, uh, winemakers, um, is that most of us work at some, in some respect out of our homes where we live and um, our families are involved in it. And that's also the coolest part. You can take your kids out and check on some stuff and then go to the beach for a couple hours or go fishing or surfing for a couple hours. Grew up working in this business, went to college, went to law school, moved to New York City, decided to come home and be in the business because we're making food, healthy food for people, growing healthy food for people in a sustainable way. For me personally, the fact that I get to come here and, and be in a place that I love working with all my family, people that I love, um, is I think such a unique opportunity and it's something that I'm really thankful for and appreciate. <laughs>